National Lemonade Day is this Saturday, and who better to have some cool, refreshing lemonade with than Arizona Lemonade Stand. So let's head out to their secret kitchen. In uh, uh, Brad, where is this kitchen located? I know it's a secret kitchen. Where is it located? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I hate to try and tell you, but uh, we're in North Phoenix. We're right <laughs> off of like Cave Creek and Dunlap. So uh, let's talk about this because actually you guys launched, launched this probably, what, two years ago? I think I remember tasting some of it and it was like really cool. It was like a little secret and then all of a sudden it, it exploded all over yep. the place. Yeah, that's exactly it. About two years ago, we started this entire process. We rebranded about a year ago to what you see here today, and it really has blown up since then. So, and, and what's really cool is that you guys also give back to the community, and that's one thing that we love about Arizona yeah. uh, Lemonade Stand, and, and that's important to you guys, isn't it? No, it absolutely is. Again, we're a big part of the community. Obviously, Aoli Burger has t uh, deep ties with AZ Lemonade Stand. Uh, if you go to our merch shop, all of our merchandise, actually any profits, actually goes directly to uh, charity. So, all right, let's talk about the lemonade and the different flavors you have here. Because right now I have the, um, the oh, we did the prickly pear lemonade. I thought we had a cherry, so I'm going to yep. taste a little bit. Yeah, I think mm. you got a strawberry. I think you got prickly pear, watermelon, uh, original mango, and uh, maybe peach. You might have peach out there as so, well. We do. So, and what's really cool is that you guys have started off with a few, and then started doing more and more. And, and are we going to see different flavors come through? Yeah, absolutely. So we have about 15 flavors total. Ten of them are basically circulating seasonal. And right now we're probably about to launch kiwi. And probably in the next week or so, you'll see kiwi in AJ's and fries. So I like it. Brad, let's look at some of the, of course, uh, fruit that goes in here. Because you guys actually yeah. do true fruits that go in, into oh. this uh, brand. Sorry, I know I'm moving away. But yeah, yeah, guys... exactly. So. That's exactly right. I mean, basically our lemonade is lemonade, uh, it's concentrate, it's sugar, and then of course a pure fruit pur puree. So we have mango, we have lemon, we have strawberry, prickly pear. Again, a lot of people don't know it, but a lot of people love prickly pear when they actually, uh, you know, have it in a, as a flavor. Yeah, I was, and, and I can, I'll go ahead and say, mix well with, uh, of course, uh, a few uh, adult um, uh, <laughs> beverages. We'll just leave it at that. So, all right, yeah. let's, let's look at Absolutely. this kitchen. Because again, this is a secret kitchen, but you guys do a lot in this, in in this kitchen with their different brands, don't you? Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of stuff going on here, and lemonade production actually takes up a large portion of it, as you can see. But we actually cook our lemonade. That's part of the secret process of getting the flavors the way they are, getting the purees to mix well with the lemonade. These guys are bringing the, the lemonade up to temperature. They're adding the purees. They're cooking this lemonade for a designated amount of time, and then ultimately letting it uh, cool and then bottling it as well. Wait, wait, Brad, you said you guys cook the lemonade? I thought all you got to do is pull sh put yep. sugar in, throw a couple lemons in, <laughs> stir it around, and then you have yep. it. What do you mean cooking it? That's interesting. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly. So that's really what sets our lemonade apart. It's shelf stable. So you can bottle, buy a bottle of this lemonade and have it sit in your pantry for three to six months. And part of that process is actually bringing it up to temp and pasteurizing it. But also that, that heating process actually makes those flavors actually meld really well together. Yep. I'll tell you, this is so cool. Like I said, I remember when you guys first introduced it, you guys had one sticker on the front. Then you turn around back, you got the stickers, yep. you have everything on there, and the QR code. What's the QR code all about? Yeah, so that's going to take you directly to azlemonadestand.com. That's where you're going to see all the locations. We have a map, actually, as we speak. It is adding locations every single day. Uh, we're in AJ's, we're in Fry's, we're in our local Lucy's. Uh, we love local businesses, and we're trying to support them as much as we possibly can. This is cool. Can I ask how many of these do you do? I mean, because since you guys are doing it such like in a small way yeah. to make it nice and fresh and everything, how many do you do, Brand? Sure. Yeah, so you're looking at about 1,500 cases on a month, and that's growing every single month. So 15 times 12, I don't know, I'm not a math major, so you might want to get a calculator out. 1,500 times 12, and that's basically how many jars these guys are producing by hand every single month. Brad, I'll tell you, this is uh, definitely a, a, a great tasting lemonade. I'm going to put my uh, staple on it. Uh, you got to try this. It's awesome. Uh, let people yeah. know where they can find uh, the lemonade right now in certain selections. 
Yeah, absolutely. So our, our biggest partner is obviously AG's, AJ's Fine Foods. We're in Fry's Marketplace and like I said, about 20 or 30 other restaurants locally, including uh, Lucy's, Brightside Studios. There's some amazing places that you guys can stop in, get lemonade, and also try some, uh, some local uh, restaurants. Very Brad, thank you very much for showing us the secret kitchen for the uh, lemonade. Don't forget, yeah, National course. Lemonade uh, Day is this weekend. Go check out the Arizona Lemonade stands, uh, of course, lemonade and give back to the community. Thank you, Brad. Thanks for showing us. Great. So. Brad, thanks a lot, man. We appreciate it. All right. It. I'm going to sit here and enjoy a little lemonade.